Hello everyone and welcome. In today's Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up publishing services. Now for this particular tutorial, we're going to be setting up Facebook. But if you want to set up Behance or Flickr or any others, they're all about the same. Now if you're looking for other uh, publishing services for Lightroom, click on the Find More Services Online button and that will carry you to Adobe's website where you can probably download a few more of these. Like I said, the only one I uh, bother setting up for this tutorial is Facebook, but there isn't much difference in the others. Okay, now let's go ahead and click Setup next to Facebook on the publishing services. Okay. Now, right here, we're going to set up our description. I am going to click on Facebook. Oh, well, I spell it correctly. Share. Okay. Now to get that typed in, now I get Facebook account. So right now it says not authorized because I just removed authorization from mine for this tutorial. But I'm going to go ahead and click on authorize on Facebook. Now, before I click on this, if you're not already uh, signed into Facebook, uh, there's a good chance it'll ask you for your login and password to re-sign back in. But if you're already still logged into Facebook, then it's probably just prompt you for, you know, just to click authorize. So let's go ahead and click on the button that says authorize on Facebook. And asking you to read over the terms and services, let's just click OK. And it should jet us over to our browser, and it did. Okay, connect Adobe Photoshop Lightroom with Facebook. Click on continue, then click OK since it's telling me that I'm already authorized. And it says success. Now, like I said it may ask you for your username and password to log back in again. Okay, now on the back over here at Lightroom, as you can see, we had a few more options and stuff come up. And we're going to choose albums here or Facebook share, is what I've already got one of them. But I'm going to go ahead and click on one and put down Facebook tutorial. Just for the sake of this uh, uh, tutorial, which I will delete later. Location, you don't have to really add that anything if you don't want to. Album description, just type in tutorial. Or you type in whatever you want for yours. I am typing in tutorial for Lightroom. Okay privacy and put down friends only I do recommend everybody put down friends only and you can go back and you can change those settings later on because you don't want to be posting photos just for anyone to get a hold of uh, you know knowing they might be more sensitive child photos you know, your kids and stuff like I said for this uh, tutorial purposes I did put down album name Facebook tutorial but be honest you can set up multiple of these uh, so if you set some for say Hawaii photos you can put in Hawaii uh, photos Waikiki or whatnot put down location Hawaii Descript, uh, album description you know 2015 Hawaii vacation for example so that you know gives you an idea what you can put in those but so when you're done just click OK All right. and there our folder just come up Facebook tutorial now they have a button that says here go to album if you click that it will go back to your web browser and go straight to the album in uh, Facebook okay now we're gonna set the Facebook title using IPTC titling uh, I'm gonna leave that one on there as is you have the option to use file name or leave blank but I'm gonna leave it to IPTC titling uh, when updating photos replace existing title you know that's uh, up to you if empty, use file name. I would leave, you know, use file name. And the file naming here, we can click on rename if we want to. I am going to put in, you know, custom name and uh, original file number. And we're going to say these shared to, I don't want to type correctly, <laughs> at Facebook, share to Facebook and that will work just fine but so you can actually put in, in those we can put in like I said Hawaii vacation if you really wanted to so better off I'm just gonna put in tutorial for these okay now I'm not gonna recommend you upload any videos to Facebook although sure some people will want to but if you do want to here's the option uh, I don't recommend going through Lightroom to upload your videos though. 
Uh, I really recommend you just upload them directly to Facebook. Uh, that way there's no issue with it uh, cutting out or uh, quit working on you. So I'm gonna unclick those. But now you notice we've got file settings here and an image format JPEG is grayed out. That's because JPEG is the only option you have for Facebook, okay? So, uh, so JPEG it is, can't change it to anything else. But that's fine because we want to keep our file size small anyway. Now the quality is set default to 80. I am actually going to pull mine down to 60. Because I think 60 for the file size that we'll be using down here is more appropriate. Plus it makes uploading a lot of photos uh, go through a lot quicker because uh, a lot smaller photos being uploaded. Now it isn't a lot difference between 80 and 60, but and it could take off a few seconds to a few minutes of your upload time. Okay, uh, resize file image. I recommend about 900 pixels. By default, it is listed at 960 here, which is about uh, what Facebook will actually display it as when you actually click on a photo in Facebook. So by default, 960. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that. Okay, output sharpening. I'm going to leave that unchecked because if you do any kind of sharpening stuff, you want to do that in uh, Lightroom itself. That way you know what each photo looks like when you get done. Um, this is actually something that if you really wanted to do, you know, it's for more of some prints and stuff. Although I don't never use it. It's just one of those things I'd prefer not to use. That's a personal taste though. Metadata. Uh, now it says here you know, include all metadata but remove personal information and remove location information. I am actually going to uncheck those because I want that information left in there. I want to know if anybody grabs this photo and they see my information that who took this photo and stuff. Now it's going to not have anything too personal in there. It's not going to have your date of birth or social security number. So there's no worries. But if any information that you put in the photos and your metadata inside the white room, you know, you may want to retain that in there in case somebody gets over the photos and tries to manipulate them or something other, or just wants to contact you because they like the photo. Okay. Watermark. And I do highly recommend watermarks. I am going to choose basic white corner. And there's a lot of reasons for this. One thing, photos can uh, get stolen a lot on Facebook. So you want to protect yourself any way possible. And I have a video on uh, watermarks and copyrights. While you may uh, want to start using uh, watermarks, uh, check that out in the uh, 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 annotations at the top of the screen here or the information tab, whichever they want to call it. And so it's a really good video on that. Uh, you really want to check it out. And also check it out in the description too, look for the link. But I did a video on that, and it goes into a lot of detail on that information. So I'm not going to cover it in this video, but you do want to check out that video. Okay, now we've got done with all that. It's as simple as clicking on save. And now that we see we have this a Facebook tutorial folder listed under Facebook share. Okay, now I want to share the little, you know, crown pigeon here. Now we'll drag that over there. And we can see it now has number one listed. We can click on that and it pulls the file up here. Now this is just kind of like a virtual copy. And it's not sent to Facebook just yet. If you notice, you go up here into the upper right corner where it says publish. Let's go ahead and click on publish and it will actually put it on Facebook for us. And there we go. Now our uh, photo is now on Facebook and it's that simple. This is a quick, easy way to upload your photos to Facebook. And I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial. I hope everybody found it useful. You know, if you do, give me a big thumbs up. Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber yet to my channel, you'll be sure to subscribe. You know, I do at least four videos a week. So there's always more information uh, coming from me out there. So if you want to, this all interests you, you know, be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.